Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and we're going to talk about AGC, or Automatic Gain Control. What's that? It's a term I use regularly. I will talk about the AGC, or the Automatic Gain Control, of different receivers. The, um, the purpose of an AGC, or an Automatic Gain Control, in a radio is to help the radio keep a relatively stable audio level and output from a signal that is either fading or coming back. So you might have noticed that, you know, signals fade on shortwave. Have you noticed that you don't need to play with the volume control when the signal fades? Well, that's a result of the automatic gain control. As the signal fades, it has an interaction to keep everything to a certain level so that it always sounds pretty much on average at the same at the same level of audio and so that you don't have to you know if 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 that wouldn't be if we didn't have EGCs every time a signal fades you'd put the volume up and then the signal comes back you'd put the volume down because it becomes stronger you don't want that so on AM it's nice for that but on single sideband it's even more interesting because single sideband is an off and on signal when you hear a signal on single sideband let's try to get some 40 meter amateur here must be somebody somewhere there we go. So what you hear when the when that ham talks, there's a signal. When he stops talking, there's an absence of signal. So as he talks, it goes from zero to signal to signal to zero all the time. On single sideband, having a choice of AJC control is nice. If you have a radio that has the ability to uh, give you slow or fast AGC, you can adapt it depending on what you're listening to. One of the flaws that I would say of the Texan H501, the Texan PL990, is the uh, AGC level on single sideband is um, too fast. It's too harsh. So what happens is that on very strong, like here it didn't show too much, but you might notice that when he starts talking, there's like a little punch in a single sideband. If there would be a slow mode for EGC on this radio, what it would do, instead of punch, it would be a gradual increase to the top level audio. So there would be a slight increase into the audio every time he starts talking, and when he stops, there would be a slight decrease. It would go into a slow speed. Would make the audio less punchy, a lot more at kind of a single or same level, if you want. So all radios are not equal here, and that's definitely a weak point of the Texan. It's AGC is punchy. I still listen to a single sideband with it. I still like listening to it because of its precision. It could be tiresome on strong signals. On weaker signals, it doesn't show too much because the AGC doesn't react, have to react much on a, a weak signal. But on very strong signals, that's where it probably gets a little more tiresome. There are radios out there that are better than others. Unfortunately, AGC control on portables, pretty much nobody includes that on portable radios. It'd be nice that a radio, a higher-end radio like the Texan here, or even the St. Jean ATS 909X2, if they would have had a fast slow switch or an on-off switch, sometimes some have just on-off switch, that would help. Now, that said, with stock AGC, some radios do better than others. A great example, I will give top points to San Gian for the San Gian ATS 909X2 single sideband AGC mode. The AGC, the automatic gain control they have chosen as default, is better than the one in Texan, which means strong signals rather than punching through. You see that there's a little slope up and down. So it's much smoother and less difficult to listen to if you listen for a long time. 
these radios for AGC are not e all equal, and that is important to note that some are better than others in that respect. But even better, if you get a radio that has, and mostly high-end radios have that, uh, desktops, for example. My Kenwood R5000, my Icon, my CRD500, both have an AGC fast slow setting. You can change the slope or the speed of that automatic gain control to um, go with the, the type of signal you're listening to. If it's a fast AM fading signal, or if it's a slow fading signal, or you're listening to single sideband, um, you know, you can just control how fast that is and it helps in making listening a, a better experience one of the aspects of that new uh saying that new uh, ethan sorry the uh, new ethan receiver that everybody is waiting uh that new ethan satellite executive radio it uh, does have uh agc or automatic gain control fast slow that could make that radio a winner for a single sideband, for example, because of that. But it comes at a cost. That radio costs twice what the Texan costs. So, you know, still, um, if I would advise Texan, I would tell them, you could implement, even if you don't want to put a switch, on-off switch with AGC control because it adds to the cost, you could at least by default, make the circuitry so that the automatic gain control is always decent in its use. And so that, I hope Texan can listen to that. They would, uh, they would make these radios even better um, using a better automatic gain control. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.